Do not upgrade your storage with Apple. If you're buying a new M4 Mac mini or if you have a Mac already, we're gonna be going over how you can save tons of money, get a lot more storage, and even make your Mac run faster. If you're going with the M4 Mac mini or a Mac Studio, simply get the base model. For the most part, the mini will probably be right at your desk and it's gonna be stationary. And you won't go traveling a lot with it, so buying the base model and keeping extra storage plugged into it is not really that much of a hassle. If you're watching this and you have like a MacBook or you want to buy a macbook air for example maybe get the 512 option not the base model just because if you're traveling with it then you have more storage on the device let's talk about the easiest way to save money when buying a new mac and add storage and that way is to pick up an ssd plus an enclosure. Essentially, SSD stands for solid state drives, and there's actually one already built into your computer. In a lot of cases as well, these SSDs plus enclosures work better and faster with respect to read and write speeds than the one that's internally on the base model of the new Pros or the Mac Mini. They also have a few pros, like being able to use this enclosure on multiple different devices because it's not built in. You can even use it on your iPhone or iPad. The one that I picked up is the Crucial P3 SSD, which was a two terabyte drive with plenty of space. It's generation four and has an advertised read speeds of up to 5,000 megabytes per second. I've personally been able to drag and drop huge files and libraries between different devices and was really impressed about how fast I got it done. For my enclosure, I got this one from Ugreen, which is compatible with Thunderbolt 4. The enclosure has a built-in fan to keep the SSD cool. It includes thermal tape in the package and a protective sleeve for those of us clumsy folks. I know noticed really fast speeds when dropping my 4K video files and all files in general. Also, it's been a breeze to edit heavy video projects directly in Final Cut. And in fact, when using it with my M1 Pro MacBook Pro, I really noticed that I stopped getting the spinning rainbows as much after I bought this. And it's a great fit for the Mac Mini because it's small, cheap, and works well. The enclosure also comes with all of the tools that you need to close up the SSD inside of it, and it can be done in under 10 minutes. Before I get into my thoughts on other options, options to expand your storage, let's talk about today's sponsor, Obsbot. You probably know that you need a webcam for all those calls, meetings, and maybe streaming moments since there's no built-in camera on this device. That's where the Obsbot Me 2 comes in. It's a 4K AI-powered webcam, and honestly, it looks fantastic. I've got the white version, which adds a nice pop to my setup and definitely makes it stand out. It's super lightweight and practical. You can attach it to your laptop with a magnetic mount, and since it's so small, it won't add any bulk at all. The Me 2 uses advanced AI to track movement in real time and has gesture control, which is my favorite feature. You just raise your hand to activate auto framing or do an L shape to zoom in or out smoothly. It's super handy, especially if you're moving around. 4K video quality is fire too, and it's really sharp, even in low light. If you're working in dim settings, you'll love how well it performs without getting too grainy. The audio is just as good with noise reduction and auto gain adjustment, so you'll just sound really as crisp as you look. It also has fast tracking autofocus and auto framing, Plus, it shoots in portrait mode too, which is perfect for TikTok or Instagram reels straight from your laptop. And during this Christmas season, you can actually get up to 20% off using the code below. So go ahead, check the link in the description, pick one of these up today. Now back to storage, a lot of people might be wondering if they should instead get a device like the Samsung T5 to edit off of. And while normally I would recommend it, it's not really as fast as what you get with an SSD enclosure. However, it's not a bad idea to also pick up one of these and you can kind of use it as a backup solution. With the M4 Mac Mini, people recently got excited when they found out that there is a way to upgrade your M4 Mac Mini SSD internally, but I would caution against it. Quick story, I thought it was a smart idea to iron my pants on my bed with my MacBook beside it, while the iron with the water fell on it and damaged my Mac. And since then, Apple Care has just always been a must on all of my Apple devices because it's worth it to protect your thousand dollar device. And doing any modifications like upgrading your SSD will avoid that warranty and it'll cost a lot more to service it. I hope this video helped. I included a video in the description if you need help on setting up the drive in your Mac OS. Make sure to comment down below if you have any questions. Also subscribe and like the video, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next year.